after multiple requests to bring back the nail videos, here we are. In case we haven't been properly introduced, hi. I'm Arian and I haven't been to a nail salon for like six years, probably definitely more than that. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted these nails and I got a lot of questions about how I did it because you know, like a speckled effect, it can be hard to make it look natural. So I revealed that it's actually the gel that has this what's called like a Dalmatian effect in it already. But I was like, you know, you could actually make this, especially, especially if you want to save yourself a rather high price tag because I want to say this was like 17 or 18 dollars and that's without shipping. So here is at least how I would do it. So you want to take a black gel, a really, really pigmented one. Like, I mean, the darkest one you have, because ideally we want to create this in one layer. Essentially, you don't want it to be too thick. In the end, we are actually going to be applying more layers of gel. And you know, the more you add, the thicker it gets. The thicker it gets, the higher it stacks thinner is better. So the one I'm using, of course, will be linked in the description box along with everything else. Give it like 60 seconds if you're using LED because that's just going to make sure that it cures all the way through. That's usually necessary with darker colors. And then afterwards, we're going to apply a top coat. And I'm actually using a no wipe top coat, but if you're using a regular one, do remember to cleanse off that sticky inhibition layer on top. And then after removing it from the sticker backing paper, make sure that you do the other side as well. Then after that's cured, we're ready to create our pieces. So this is why I basically mentioned that we want to try and keep it on the thinner side because it's going to make this process easier, especially if you're not using the sharpest of scissors, but we do want those jagged edges. So feel free to really move your scissors around and create imperfect shapes. And also the great thing about this technique is that you're able to create custom size pieces. So in the picture, you'll notice that with the cream, it definitely has some smaller pieces in it. So if you want it to be more chunky, then you can cut larger shapes. And the easiest method for cleaning this up is honestly just to pick it up on your fingers. Of course, make sure that they're clean and put them into a container. Another approach that I thought about for those who maybe don't have as much time to do this process is that you can take pre-bought spangles and actually cut those up into smaller pieces. However, I'm not gonna lie, this is way more time consuming than the process that I just showed you and less effective because they are thicker. So you're not able to get really abstract shapes. Notice that I can only get them so small and also they were flying everywhere. So you probably would have a difficult time gathering them to even put them in the jar. And the reason that I went for this container instead of like a little clear one is that this is actually meant for gel. Like you know that you're gonna use a specific color a lot, maybe your nail tech, and this is on your menu, then you can pre-mix it, have it on hand. But you can also just keep it as an accessory and adding it to whatever design that you're doing on yourself or your client that day. So in that case, I would just apply a clear gel or art gel, whatever formula or consistency you prefer, and then you can position the pieces exactly where you want them. The good thing with this method is that it's really easy to fix mistakes or to just customize the placement. Whereas if the pieces were submerged in a color, perhaps you might notice a little bit of change in the opacity, but not if you use a syrup or jelly formula, which is what I'm gonna create right now. So 
so choose your color that you want to work with and if it's a cream formula which is you know pretty opaque in one coat or fully opaque in two coats then you want to add some clear gel to it and again they make mixing gels but if you just have base gel that's also fine usually the difference between formulas is the viscosity so when a brand comes out with a product that does something very specific that's like the main aspect that they've taken into consideration how it's going to perform with other gels or how it's going to perform the job that you want it to do in question i prefer to mix the color first just to make sure that that is exactly what i want then mix in the dalmatian pieces and you also notice that i'm mixing it very specifically spreading it rather than stirring it because that just incorporates a lot of air bubbles which you don't need or want And again, since I customize mine with larger pieces, I didn't want to have to cut really, really tiny specks. For variety, I'm just going to draw that portion on. When I polled you guys on Instagram, I did notice a lot of people wanting to see like line art. So I added an accent in a really bright color because spring is finally here, which means that summer is also right around the corner and neons just look great in the sun. And for me, lines are all about the brush. It's all about the thickness and the amount of pressure that you're putting on your bristles. Tools do matter, so you'll notice that I'm using a long liner brush, not a short one, because you wanna be able to load enough product to drag it out. And if this is something that you struggle with, I have actually done a video slash series on how to improve your nail art skills, which will help you get better acclimated with like your supplies, but you can feel free to practice on other mediums as well. So if you haven't already tried Skillshare, first of all, where have you been? Because I've literally been blabbing about this for like the last two years. Get on that because if you use the link in the description box, the first thousand of you will get a free trial. So there's no excuse at this point. I would actually recommend Beyond Watercolor Learn to Paint with Gouache by Leah Gorn because although I haven't painted in a while, when I did, my medium of choice was gouache and I feel like the texture, although obviously like completely different, is actually a bit similar to using gel because it's versatile in that you can change the opacity based off of whether or not you add water to it. So you can use it at full strength or create more of a watercolor effect. So again, please check out Skillshare if you guys aren't familiar with it because as an online learning community, it was built for this. It was made for you to explore things that you're passionate about and get creative. And remember, if you make any mistakes, you can easily just clean them up with the brush. You can either put a little bit of alcohol on your brush and then wipe off the excess, or you can actually just use a dry brush and that'll work too. Last but not least, you want to apply your top coat. If you have it, use a bit of a higher viscosity top coat and really float it over the nail so that you get a smooth finish. You can even try this design with a matte top coat. I think I'm going to post a version of that on Instagram because I'm sure at least one of you noticed that I haven't done my thumb yet. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it lets me know what you want to see. And if you specifically want to see more nail art videos, make sure that you leave me the pink nail emoji in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.